Our cell phones, laptops, cars, planes, security systems, and much more operate because of something called coding. Experts say the need for this skill is exploding and more schools need to teach it. In this original report, we meet local kids learning to code. Do you want to do some programming on the iPads? Yeah! yeah. These first through third graders learning computer coding are among the minority. Hey, I think it's the exact same code, except different colors. You learn more, uh, like, how to use computers, and it's really fun. They attend Coding Club at Middle Fork Elementary in Northfield. One of only about 10% of U.S. schools provide any coding education. There's not enough schools teaching kids to code, I think. Gretchen Hubner is co-creator of Codable, a coding curriculum used at various schools in 100 countries. Students use arrows and symbols to program the movements of fuzzy aliens. Code it wrong and you have to try again. It's similar to how they program V-Bots to travel a maze, sometimes correctly, sometimes not. <laughs> Part of the life lesson, says principal Dr. Mary Frances Green. And it just becomes just something that didn't work right as opposed to I failed. You need to analyze how did I get it wrong. I just persevere and keep on doing it. It really does promote critical thinking, planning, sequential thinking, cause and effect. And can prepare students for their future. We use technology every minute of every day almost. So uh, it's, it's important to understand how that technology is created, not just how to use it. Coding is like the new literacy because it's their current world, their digital world. Which also includes 3D modeling and printing. I 3D printed my name. It's really cool because you don't just see one side, you see the whole thing. These types of lessons are mandated curriculum in other countries. The United Kingdom, China, um, and Estonia. Hubner hopes her program, designed to also attract more girls, will get both genders coding. It's working here. Girls can do it, and as good as boys sometimes, sometimes better. Sometimes better. To find lessons you can do at home, along with coding camps and clubs, go to CBSChicago.com. We have a link to code.org. That organization says in five years there will be one million more computing jobs than students graduating with computer science degrees. By the way, one student in our story is related to a CBS employee.